Welcome to Rise and Rule. In today's video, the many tribes of the world get into a giant war. But before we get into the video, today's video is proudly sponsored by Nordcraft, the ultimate Minecraft server that's redefining the way we play survival Minecraft. With dungeons filled with dangerous and unique mobs, custom items like armor, weapons, and decorations, and even massive, cool custom biomes full of endless adventure, you are sure to have a good time on Nordcraft. Nordcraft also offers many minigames, making playing Minecraft with friends even better. If you're looking for a fun twist to your survival Minecraft experience, Nordcraft is the server for you. Join their Discord for updates, events, and more, and find the server IP down in the description below and start your Nordcraft adventure today. Thanks again to Nordcraft for sponsoring this video, now let's get into the video. Cray La Jolla is a continent of great beauty, diversity, and ambition. Its bustling cities are a testament to human innovation and progress. The nations here have thrived through collaboration and peaceful coexistence. This harmony is the product of diplomacy and understanding. But beyond the borders of the established nations, vast unclaimed lands stretch as far as the eye can see. Deep within these lands lie small but growing tribes. These people have lived in relative isolation, embracing their traditions and shrouding themselves in mystery. Their existence has mostly been forgotten, often overlooked by the busy civilizations. Simpleton, I want you to walk north 200 blocks and plant our flag. We shall expand our borders. Um, sir, I do think there's people already living on that land. Then tell them to shoo. With all due respect, sir, I don't think that's a good idea. Oh, it's not like these tribes are dangerous. Okay, fine. But unbeknownst to most, tensions have been building steadily over the years. These tribes would occasionally explore the unclaimed lands looking for food and other resources. Rarely did they ever run into other tribes, but this time, it would be different. A large tribe located at the center of the map called Imthala was a very developed tribe. With large buildings and a large population, they were very close to becoming seen as an official nation. Imthala was building good relations with the official nations. However, relations with the other tribes were not good. Other tribes were also looking to become official nations. However, these other tribes had a much smaller population and were far less developed. If they had any chance of becoming a nation, a giant power shift between the tribes would have to take place. On day 2279, a large group of Amphalians got on horses and headed south towards the desert. This wasn't unusual, as it was common for exploration of this kind. However, just as the Amphalians got to the desert, they were met by three players. Two from the New Mycelium tribe and one from the Clavaria tribe. What started as just a standoff quickly became a conflict when the Amphalians pushed forward on the two tribes. New Mycelium and Clavaria saw this as a threat and charged forward. The three tribes clashed. Amthalia overpowered the two tribes, pushing them back and crossing the river. But New Mycelium and Clavaria didn't back down. They made a strong push back and were able to hold off the Amthalians. However, during this battle, the two players from New Mycelium were killed, and one player from Amthala was killed. Although just three casualties, this was the first deadly conflict for this constant in the new era. And this would be the start of a far more deadly war. The player from the Clavaria tribe quickly got on his horse and headed off north to try and find other tribes to hopefully make alliances and warn of a potential Imthala attack. 
This is Madheim. Although it's not much of a tribe as it only has a population of two, for now we're going to call it a tribe. Madheim was the site of a religious temple, the Temple of the Harmonic Faith. One of the residents of Madheim was known as the Harmony Seeker, a self-proclaimed prophet seeking peace through ancient rituals. While the Harmony Seeker was in the temple, the other resident of Madheim headed off into the woods and into a giant flower field on a hunting trip. While in the flower field, he was met by Accent from the Clavaria tribe. Nate, 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 I'm French, I'm French, I'm French. Uh, look, my, my guys got attacked and uh, we need to run. They're calling me to to far from home so we can team up against Amthala because all of my guys just got killed by them. Okay, yeah. fine, let's go. Uh, Accent warned him of the potential Amthala attack and the two of them headed off to find other tribes. On their way, they ran into a wanderer who was found out to be from Amthala. Oh, there's someone here. Hello, hello, hello. Hello? Hey! Okay, well... Hey! No, 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 I'm no, man. I'm no I, I don't want to shoot you. I want, I want, I want you to come here. Look, my, I put my weapon down. Look, I won't cross the river. We can talk man-to-man like -man over the river. I just need to ask you a couple Are questions. Are you from a tribe? Have you seen anybody, um, walk around these parts recently? You see any, you see anything fishy? I don't like that he's no. I don't like that he's silent. I don't like okay, the pause. Yeah, yeah, let's just, I'm scared. Just we gotta get out of here. <laughs> yeah. Well he doesn't Bye. seem he's... to care, but hey! Oh whoa, whoa, he's shooting. That's right. Yeah, should we kill him? I can walk up him. Let's go. Okay, fine. Let's go. Oh <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I told you. Oh my god, okay. Well wait, hold on. I, oh, I fell off. Okay. You went yeah, too fast. Fine. A small group of loyal players from the once nation of Borealis eventually heard of the rumors, and they too gathered and headed south. For the next couple of days, the many tribes of the world wandered the continent. I think this way is where I want to go, but I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't know, and I don't wanna check the map. I wanna pretend, I wanna like act like I don't have one. Like I'm actually in the middle of a war. I can't see. <laughs> it's too dark. A chicken! Chicken, get in the boat, I will save you! I'll save you. I'll save you, I'll save you. I've probably been swimming out for, for days. Get in the boat, chicken. Come with me. I said, get in the boat, chicken, you're coming with me. Okay, that was easy. Please be safe. Okay, please. I need you. Okay? I saved you and I will not let Paxter- By now, the news of the conflict spread. Nations heard of the rumors, but largely didn't care. Sir, did you hear? The tribes are fighting each other. There could be a giant war. Oh no. I don't care. I'm here to tell you guys, uh, well, not my words, more of my leader's words. And although I don't really want to say this, I'm kind of forced, but basically, I need you guys to shoo. My spleen. On day 2283, most of the tribes would eventually meet in Farmo. Hey, Nate, they're on the platform. They're just sitting there, to be honest. Really? Yeah. Oh, yep, yeah, there's I think I hit one. an arrow. Yo, 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 yo. Yes, Vita, Vita. Back. Vita. Vita. Vita's not, Vita can't fight though. Oh, what the heck? Some Farmo citizens went over to see what was going on, but suddenly, Amthala and another tribe by the name of the Forge showed up just off the coast, and a battle started. The tribes of Madheim, Clavaria, and Borealis stationed on the beaches of Farmo fought to keep Amthala from advancing onto the beach, both sides raining down arrows on each other. It seemed like no one side was making any progress. There are... Uh... Amphibians or something, I don't know. Okay. Here, take some bread. I'll support you. Take some bread. Oh, ah. Take some bread. We shall from the might of our, of our coalition. We shall perish, make them perish. Oh, well, that's a good one. But Anthala's side started taking heavy losses, and the Farmo citizens that showed up got stuck in the crossfire and were killed. This battle quickly became more than just a war between tribes. Now even official nations saw casualties. As the battle went on, eventually the firing of arrows stopped. The Amthala side faced a devastating loss. Madheim, Clavaria, and Borealis, with the advantage of solid ground, were able to hold off the attack. Clear out the field. Make sure. I need. We need a perimeter search. Um, All right. Probably. 
We're all on the call, so I can else. tell them to do it. But, yeah, we need a perimeter search first. Make sure there's nothing left. However, the war wasn't over. The last three tribes were now against each other. But to avoid any more loss of innocent life, the nation of Arrival Hall agreed to hold the last part of the war in their Colosseum. Three players from Borealis, one player from Madheim, and one player from Clavaria was all that was left. They all agreed to fight 1v1s, and the last player alive would be considered the winner of the tribe wars, granting their tribe to be recognized as an official nation. Tell who's winning, but this is a battle. Oh, he's dead again. Probably. Oh, he's down. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> If he doesn't go on the battlefield. Surprise. Oh! Oh! Yeah. oh yeah. I did it! Yeah, oh my god, I'm so sorry. For the final round, just three players remain, all from different tribes. The winner of this round would decide what tribe becomes a nation. And we can only render a name. <laughs> That's all you need. I'm not gonna make it. Oh, uh, do not shoot the crowd. Oh no. It looks like the 2v1 is constantly shifting to who is the one. Oh, they, they have engaged. Borealis is out. It is Mycelium versus, I don't know where Nate's from. No! Hey, where are you? Returning to Clavaria with news that would forever change history, Axon informed the people of Clavaria of his victory. On day 2286, a momentous announcement was made. Clavaria had achieved the status of an official nation, a sovereign entity with its own distinct identity. With the new nation forming, the people of New Mycelium merged with Clavaria. Clavaria promised protection of the new Mycelium land, and the two would become stronger together. To symbolize this harmonious union, a new flag was crafted, a testament to the shared triumphs and aspirations of the Clavarian people. Axent, now the undisputed king of Clavaria, the people hailed him as a hero, recognizing his heroic actions and leadership during the tribe war. The popularity of Clavaria soared as new players quickly joined this new nation. But for the other tribes, the outcome of the tribe war would have a far darker consequence. The tribes, once formidable in their own right, now found themselves painted as violent barbarians, perceived as a potential threat to the established nations. This perception fueled a wave of unprovoked attacks, as players from official nations sought to eliminate any perceived threat before it could materialize. In all the chaos, the tribe of Amthala sought refuge in Luxlancia, one of the more benevolent official nations. Meanwhile, the unclaimed lands of Kray La Hoya became a desolate no man's land, a battleground where players from various nations attempted to wipe out all remaining tribes. With the help of Luxlancia, Imthala was able to protect their land and resources. And with Luxlancia campaigning for Imthala, just a few days after the tribe war, Imthala would become recognized as an official nation. What started as an accidental meetup between two tribes escalated into a devastating war. The war left Imthala overwhelmed. But now with the status of being an official nation, will Amthala seek revenge? Or will a new chapter of peace come about for the continent of Kray La Hoya? <laughs>